Another common problem that we have is creating images that are friendly for the web. So notice here in the header, I have an image. It's got a source, an alt tag, a width, and a height. Let's back up in time and I'll show you how I got here. Out here on my desktop, I have a photo that was taken with my camera. It's a very, very large photo, has lots and lots of detail in it. It's way, way too big for the internet. And if we look at the details on it, we can see that it's 2.8 megabytes. I'm going to use a free program called Pixlr.com and we're going to start by doing photo editing. Let's open the image from our desktop. Click apply. And you can see that this image is 1920 by 1440. That's way too big. Let's choose the cropping tool. Let's choose size. And a final size will be a 75 wide and maybe 100 tall. That's more than enough. So scale it, choose the part of the image you want to keep, which should just be kind of part of the head face. That's what we need to have. Hit enter on the keyboard. And you now have an image that's 75 by 100. You can go smaller than that and that would be fine. At this point, we can save it. We want the JPEG quality to be medium. We'll save it as I'm just going to call it profile and drop it out here on my desktop. It says it was successful. Here on my desktop, I now have a file that is four kilobytes as compared with the original one, which was 2.8 megabytes, massive file. We don't want to use those on the web. So this tiny 4K file is perfect. And we can do this one of two ways. We can open our folder and drag the image into the images folder, or we can actually do it straight here in VS Code. Drag it to the images folder here, and that will copy it for us. At this point, the only thing left is to link to the images profile. If you remember, the width was 75, the height was 100, and the alt tag should be like that. 